Hey, what's going on guys? Johnzo here, back again with another video, and today we are back on Halo. I know, Halo again, after you were raging. Yes, Halo again. I'm really feeling like I want to play some Halo, especially some Fiesta. Fiesta is my favorite game mode. We're still on the road to level 100. I know there wasn't much progress since the last video, but... We're gonna try. We're just gonna try this season to get to level 100. And if I do, I will throw a big party. I will celebrate here on the YouTube channel with something special if I can hit level 100. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. And if we don't hit level 100, I mean, I can still stick it out to the viewers, you know, give them something a little special, some a little something something, you know what I'm saying? Today I'm going all natural, you know, hair, curly, not being, I mean, I brushed it, but I didn't like sweep it to the side or anything that I normally do. So we're just going all natural. I hope my controller and buttons don't make a lot of noise. Like, I know that shit's gonna happen regardless. Oh, starting off with a sword. Let's see if we can flank him. Oh, shit. Let's talk a little bit while we play Halo. <laughs> I don't just want it to be strictly gameplay. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what I do in my downtime. What I do when I'm not working. What I do when I'm not making videos. Because, I mean, I guess that could be exciting. No. I could have got that triple, but I just wasn't feeling that. I don't know. I'm a little off. Oh, no. Not that stupid gun. Come on. They gave me the worst guns. But uh, as you can tell by the title, DoorDash. I do DoorDash on the side. It's really fun to do. If you're looking to get into DoorDash as a side hustle or possibly even a main hustle, I would recommend because it's your own hours. You can do it whenever you'd like. You can decide how many orders you want to take, which orders to take, all sorts of that fun stuff. It's definitely worth it. You, I made a livable wage from it. <laughs> I didn't know he had the sword. Back in 2018, 2019, I was making a livable wage from it. Like, I was paying my bills, paying my rent, buying groceries, all sorts of stuff with DoorDash. So it, it is possible to make a livable wage. Son of a bitch. Dude had the same gun as me and killed me first. As long as you have a license and a car, you can go DoorDash. They, as long as you have a good record. I think they do background checks. Not 100%. But it's well worth it if you're looking for something easy, fun to do. And you just get to sit in your car, listen to music, listen to a podcast. Just drive around town. I mean, it sucks because you got to pay taxes. They don't take taxes out, which means you're going to end up paying. But if it's just your side hustle, holy moly. Son of a bitch. That was hectic. I mean, that's the only downside to it. They're not taking out taxes or anything like that. You got to pay the taxes when tax time comes around. So if you have a second job or just a primary job aside from DoorDash, get away from me, you freak. I keep getting cut off. You guys get the gist of the tax part. If you or someone you know wants to dash or become a dasher, use my link in the description down below. It'll help me out a lot. But let's go through like a typical day of what dashing looks like. I mean, I'm not going to vlog or add any vlog clips, anything of that sort or nature to this video. It's going to be more of a story type, you know, just giving you the gist of what goes on when you dash pretty much. Sometimes I get up before work and dash a bit. Other times I just... Alright. F*** these stupid idiot morons, sons of bitches. Nah, but pretty much what goes on when I dash, I get in my car, turn it on. <laughs> nah, but for real, I just get in my car, load up the Dasher app on my phone, start dashing. Hopefully it says busy or very busy, because if it says those two things, chances are you're going to get an order right off the bat. If it's just pink and it says nothing, just that it looks like it's a little bit busy, I mean, it's a little discouraging, like, in my area, because I live in a small town already as it is. There's only a handful of door dashes that I get at night. But if it's as busy or very busy, I clock in, I start dashing, I start making money. Um, it's really easy. You just go to a restaurant or wherever the location is that they're getting stuff. I know now you can do Dollar General and Walgreens, gas stations, all that stuff. But yeah, you just go pick up the order, drop it off. It's easy. Like, it's just upfront easy i'm being honest with you it's easy money 
it's fun you get to sit in your car listen to music listen to a podcast like i said scroll on your phone go through tiktok watch my videos you know share my video with your friends pretty much do your own thing you can choose whether you want to accept an order or not so if it's not paying as big as you'd expect it to you don't have to take it you know they're not going to force you to take an order but you also have scores so like rating scores people can rate you and your customer service or you just your service right now i got 23 ratings of 5.0s so that's pretty good people give me 5.0s and i just got a clean straight record look at this stupid dude who's this guy think he is but now i'm not sponsored by doordash or anything of course i'm not because i don't even have a big following on social media or anything like that i'm just legitimately oh hold up hold up f stupid son of a f bitch now i genuinely enjoy doordash i would recommend it to anyone and everyone who's looking for a job especially young adults like if you're out there struggling pick up doordash as a backup plan or just extra money if you want extra money go for doordash that's what i'm doing right now i'm trying to pay off my debt use doordash to my stupid f idiot good shit he deserved that that's some stupid f bullshit yeah, I'm using DoorDash as a second source of income so I can pay my bills, just have extra money to do stuff because right now, extra money is looking a little bit foreign to me. How? So there's one question that people like to ask, how much money do you make from DoorDash? Realistically, the answer, it all depends on you, how much you make. If you want to work one day a week, eight hours, you have the possibility of making anywhere from 20 on the low side, 20 to about 100 to 200 dollars. In in my area is what I experience. If you live in a bigger town and it's way busier, it's more populated, you can probably make a few hundred dollars a day. So that's already like, let's say, all right. So like me, what I used to do four hours, five days a week. That's 20 hours a week for DoorDash. I would make five, six hundred dollars just for for that many hours. Twenty hours, six hundred bucks. You can make more, you can make less. Let's see, if you divide six hundred dollars in twenty hours, that's literally thirty dollars an hour. That's not bad at all. That's like triple minimum wage. In my area it's like seven twenty-five. Stupid son of a bitch. But yeah, if, if you're wanting to do DoorDash, you live in a bigger town, it's more populated, it's very busy, then I highly recommend you DoorDash. Because 9 times out of 10, people are going to be ordering food. The world's getting lazy, and they need delivery drivers to help them bring their goods. But yeah, if you take anything away from this video, it is do DoorDash. DoorDash is a big help if you're struggling with money, if you need extra money, or if you just need a job in general, as long as you live in a greatly populated area, you can probably make a full-time living off of DoorDash. The big key points to also notice is that they don't take taxes out, so when tax season comes around, make sure you have money to pay your taxes. You gotta use your own car, your own gas, your own mileage, so make sure you track your miles, make sure you keep your receipts for the gas you put in to do DoorDash with, and yeah. If you want me to talk more or touch up on DoorDash, you want to see a day in the life vlog of me just DoorDashing one day, let me know down in the comments below. I'm gonna end it off here, guys. If you enjoyed, this has been Jonzo. Have a great day, night, evening, wherever you're from, and peace out, Girl Scouts.